It may not surprise you to know that people who think the Earth is flat are generally not the most stable and well-adjusted people out there. But what if I told you that there is one flat earther who is right now being so cancerous and so toxic that he is on the verge of killing one of the biggest flat earth debate channels on YouTube. This man is known as Mr. Cheswick, and he's honestly like a B or C list flat earther. He is not among the Nathan Oakleys and Nathan Thompsons of the world. In fact, the only thing I knew him for was this silly little song he made called Simon Dan's a Wanker. It was actually pretty funny. But for a man who is essentially irrelevant in the flat earth sphere, he sure seems to have a big ego. The other day he got in a pissing match with FTFE, one of the main flat earth debunking channels on YouTube. What was this over you ask? Well, he would tell you it's about a copyright issue on one of his songs. However, digging into it a little reveals he was just butthurt that he got muted in FTFE's livestream chat. So he started submitting false takedown notices to every FTFE video to try to get his channel shut down. Now the song in question was FTFE's outro song, which was made by Cheswick, but it was made out of samples of FTFE's own voice. And I actually can't find any version of this uploaded under Cheswick's name anywhere. It all started when I saw this screenshot, this uh, post from FTFE. Here's the flat earther Mr. Cheswick music, threatening to misuse the copyright system and have my channel deleted. I'm now requesting help in reporting this to YouTube for abuse of the copyright system. Please everyone report this this issue created by Mr. Cheswick to YouTube on Twitter, or any other means you have. Do not attack his channel with false reports. Just do everything you can to make YouTube aware of the situation. And here we have the post from Cheswick. Um, good morning, Craig. I've noticed that you've just submitted a counter notification to YouTube under United States law. Unfortunately for you, Craig, United States law holds no jurisdiction over my work. However, if you file a UK copyright law case, then I may decide to acknowledge and respond to that. Now, I've also noticed that my original work you tried to steal and claim as your own features heavily throughout your channel. So before I file four copyright claims against you, to which I'm sure you understand what the ramifications of that will be, I'm now giving you the chance to retract your counter notification. From the time of this email, I'm now giving you the chance to retract your counter notification 24 hours and cease and desist with your fraudulent counter notification. In fact, to show I'm being serious, you now have 12 hours to retract your counter notification where you leave me with no other option but to press ahead with another four copyright claims against your channel. Now, if you're paying attention, this doesn't sound like someone who has a solid case that he knows he'll win. This sounds like a bully trying to use intimidation tactics to get his way any way possible, and to lay on so much pressure that his victim doesn't have time to think about it. FTFE goes on with another update. Well. Mr. Cheswick has just fraudulently attacked me with another four copyright strikes. I've now lost the ability to stream or upload. I have countered the claims, but my channel is now subject to termination. I don't know how long my channel will be here. I am a little scared as this supports my family. I have never asked before, but if anyone would like to help, as I don't think I'll even be getting paid for the last month, my PayPal is and he links his PayPal. I'll put that in the description if it's still up on his channel. I love you all. See you around, I guess. And here we have a post from FTFE to Cheswick. This looks like a screenshot of an email conversation. As you thought it was okay to threaten me, I have reported it to the police, and here is the crime reference number. They have your name, address, phone number, and email. Enjoy the cops at your door. To which Mr. Cheswick says, don't worry, I'll be reporting you for child abuse. FTFE goes on to elaborate. Now, Mr. Cheswick is threatening to report me for child abuse. So, false DMCA and false claims of child abuse? On an aside, the child abuse accusation comes out of absolutely nowhere. 
Cheswick just pulled that out of his ass because he's desperate and bullies like to make empty threats. He also phoned me and made several threats to me and my family's safety, pointing out that he has my address and knows bad people. I have phoned the police and reported him. He gives a crime reference number with Merseyside Police. I told him this, then he called me again and said I should remember he had my address. Knows bad people and snitches get stitches. Very fucking ironic coming from the man who's being a Karen over some petty copyright issue. So I also reported that to the police with his name and address. He screamed at me, calling me names during the phone call, including Cripple, referring to my military lifelong injuries. Flat Earthers, is this your man? Here's a screenshot of Mr. Cheswick acting all hard. By the way, I've seen a video of Mr. Cheswick doing a street performance, or I think it was, he was doing some kind of flat earth edu agitation, trying to convince people that because the smoke from a cigarette goes up, gravity is fake. Very stupid shit, but the point is, if you watch that video, which I think might be taken down also due to his copyright trolling, he's not really the most imposing looking guy. Kind of looks like a dumpy old man, to be honest. Anyway, here is this great example of neckbeard rage pouring out. However, if they do call, then this is real world then, kid. Not just YouTube banter and bullshit. You've escalated it to the next level by involving the police. So if the police call at my house and uncover something they shouldn't, then the people who I liaise with aren't going to be too happy with the police on the scene, and I'm going to be left with no other option but to let them know who it was that called the police to my address. There will be an outstanding debt owing as they'll, as owing as they'll see it, and that debt will somehow have to be settled. And I'd hazard a guess that it can't be settled financially by you with the meager pittance you earn. And as you know, I don't rely on YouTube for my income, so it can't be settled that way either. And as I don't have large sums of money lying about the house, I can't settle it. And the people who I liaise with don't deal in American Express or Visa either. So this guy is claiming to be involved in some type of organized crime. And look, I can't legally say that he's involved in a pedophile ring because there's no actual evidence of that. But I've seen what the guy looks like and he looks like the type who would be. That's all I'm saying. And here he is, Cheswick, actually giving FTFE the rights to the song. After some back and forth, which he showed off on his live stream, Cheswick did. Cheswick was bragging about how mad he had gotten FTFE. FTFE almost showed up at his house and kicked his ass but apparently his wife talked him out of it. After all that, Cheswick appears to try and find a way to back down gracefully, saying, dude, you know what? Fuck it. You can have the song, man. I feel sorry for you. I may retract my claims just out of pity. You remind me of David Van Dyke versus Bucks Fizz, where Van Dyke tried to blah blah blah, some, some music lore that nobody gives a shit about. So now FTFE has the rights to the song, which weren't, it wasn't really copyrighted by Cheswick in the first place. But after that, another update from FTFE. When I got up this morning, my channel was gone. Cheswick hit me with another 12 copyright strikes and basically nuked my channel. However, after all, after intense and scary talks with YouTube, providing evidence that this is an illegal retaliation because he was timed out in my live chat, along with the evidence that I own the copyright to the music, he gave me full ownership yesterday because he doesn't understand words. See previous community post. My channel has been restored and my ability to upload has been restored, with YouTube reducing the number of active copyright strikes on my channel to two. I still have to fight this and there is the chance he will hit me with more strikes, but now, but for now I'm back in action. Cheswick has sent me threats of violence against me, my family, and home. He has accused me of being a child abuser and he has admitted illegal activities activities at his house. Both Merseyside Police and Fife Police are investigating, and I will be pressing charges to the full extent of the law. Any help with this will be appreciated. Thank you for the support and love, and a massive thanks to Triggered Limey for his stream yesterday. I love you all. Not you, Gary, whoever Gary is. Then he goes on to say, Cheswick just hit me with more strikes again, putting my channel up for termination even though he gave me permission to use the song. And FTFE goes on later to elaborate 
that this is actually ref this is actually stopping him from getting his money from YouTube. I was due to be paid today by Google after the bank holidays in the UK, but after checking my AdSense, there is no payment. So everything I've earned in March seems to have gone. It also shows my studio as no revenue for all of May. My entire YouTube has been demonetized and payments stopped. This is my livelihood, how I pay my bills. Not sure how I'm going to pay rent, council tax, bills, buy groceries, pay for internet, pay for my editing software, etc. Fuck me, I guess. And he goes on to link his PayPal again. So here we have Cheswick, neckbeard extraordinaire, attacking a man's livelihood because he was butthurt about being timed out in a live chat where he was talking shit to people and being a nuisance. Now Cheswick did his own live stream where he starts showing some of his email conversation from FTFE. And FTFE is actually in the process of suing Cheswick. He sends him an email saying, that's one. Do it again and I will actually sue you. I now have your address. And he tried to claim, Cheswick tried to claim rather, that this I have your address line was some kind of veiled threat. So evidently he's not nearly as tough as he likes to make himself sound if he's being a little coward like that. Cheswick goes on to reply, I said to you, I didn't want to be a dick about it, but you forced my hand by being arrogant and pompous about claiming the rights to my song, and I'm just not standing for it, one way or another, mate. The issue was going to get sorted out either legally or by other means. I've been a musician slash songwriter for over 30 years. I know how it all works. By the way, his music is fucking shit. If you go to his channel, every song is just boring, machine-programmed shit. None of it is good. I'm not out to destroy you financially, dude. I'm not like that. But trust me when I tell you this. If I have to, then I will, okay? So here we have Cheswick explaining how he's actually the victim, and he's going to make some big, pathetic stand against mean old FTFE. You love to see it. The nerdy kid finally stands up for himself. How did the comments go on this? Well, Rachy, a flat earther by the way, responded with, You said people can use your stuff freely, so what's the issue? Is it because you were apparently timed out? Don't take it out on him if so. Me and Craig don't get along, but this is below the belt, especially when you said it can be used freely. Another flat earther, Gargantuan, well, I don't know if this guy's even a flat earther, but he's one of Cheswick's subscribers, I guess? Gargantuan Leviathan. So, let me get this straight. You, Mr. Cheswick, are falsely accusing FTFE of copyright infringement. FTFE is now suing you, and you have to make the decision of suing FTFE or not, all because you got timed out in live chat? To which Cheswick replies, I'm suing you for hurting my feelings last Tuesday now as well. No idea what he's referring to there, but he's clearly not taking this very seriously. And in another live stream he did, which he wound up deleting, but I saw it live, and he tried to say this was all a bit of banter to get FTFE wound up while starting actual legal action against FTFE and probably getting himself sent to jail in the process. FTFE is still pursuing criminal charges as far as I know for the threats and harassment that Cheswick has subjected him to. And the final email from Mr. Cheswick to FTFE. Well, in that case, Craig, due to your unreasonable attitude and dented ego of a flurf getting the better of you, then you leave me no other options but to pursue the matter further through all the appropriate legal channels. There will be no further communication between us from now on. Very ironic. I'm pretty sure this is one of those guys where every accusation from him is a confession. Heavy projection going on with the unreasonable attitude and dented ego accusations. Cheswick. You're starting legal action because you got timed out in a live stream chat. Touch grass. He goes on to say, Please refrain from contacting me anymore through any electronic communication device. If you persist, then I will consider it as harassment after asking you to refrain from doing so. Any further communication must be done through my solicitor after not being able to resolve them, the, them matter amicably like gentlemen. I bid you a fond farewell, sir. Good day to you. Cheswick. Fuck your boundaries. They don't matter.
he can harass you all he likes while you try to exploit the copyright system to get his channel taken down. Hell, I've gotten on your channel and harassed you a few times. You never seem to re be replying to me for some reason, but I go there to call you a parasite constantly now that you've started doing this. Okay, so there's a happy ending to this story. FTFE's copyright strikes all got removed, his channel is back, and he actually went ahead to upload a six hour live stream of nothing but the song that he supposedly stole from Cheswick. I suggest you go watch that, check out FTFE's channel. And in further news, it turns out that Cheswick didn't even create the beat. FTFE found the beat that was used on a Mark Ronson song, I guess? <laughs> this is pathetic. Mr. Cheswick, you have thoroughly made an ass of yourself. You get nothing and you are probably going to jail. Have fun with that, you pitiful 50-year-old virgin. Get wrecked.